Hey y'all, it's Kathy Bo. It's time for ba -ba -bum, Kathy Bo's Crafting Show. Ba -ba -bum. I'm gonna show you some some fun stuff today. And it's not all about crafting because some of it is something people often ask me about. Something I wear. And um, speaking of wearing, yes, I have on makeup today, darling. I do, I do. And my glasses broke, so I had to go over to the little the little store down the street and buy me from some three ninety nine readers. Hey, Gloria, I'm so glad you are here. So yeah, my my um blue glasses, y'all. I don't even know what happened. I I just went to brush my hair, and the arm right here stayed, and the rest of the glasses went that I don't know. Um, so they broke, and so I had to get the three dollar ninety eight cent pair. Because I figured money is no object when it's $3.98 glasses, right? But I did get my senior discount, so that's good. So I'm just um, getting y'all pulled up over here on my iPad so I can see comments. And I can't pull it up before we go live because it's not there. Posts. Now let's see if it will come up now. Okay, okay. So here we are. <laughs> And I got it turned way down. Okay. So, yeah. So, um, y'all, I'm, I'm wearing makeup and everything. All right. I'm going to put it down here so you can see all the things. And we are going to start with, um, with um, looking at what people ask me about a lot of times. Gloria's making some Easter boxes for a couple of little girls. How sweet. How sweet. Okay. You know the drill. I'm going to cover you up. And spin you around. Boop. Oh, hey, Nyoka. Thank you, darling. Thank you, thank you. Um, with my hair, you never know, my friend. You never know, right? Okay, so I brought something in today for y'all to see because everybody's asking me about it every time I wear them. These are my puppies. And it says, first day of obedience school. And they got their little lunch bags. And inside their little lunch bags are bones. But now this puppy, we lost him um, in 2020. And his name was Huda Man. And this is Mila. He, um, she's got a little crown on. He's wearing a tie. But what I want to show you is this. People frequently ask me about my... Um, my jewelry here. Well, I'm not a big jewelry person. I want things to go a long way. Now, some of y'all remember I used to wear rings on every finger, but a lot of them need repair, and I just haven't done it. But y'all, this right here, I'll show you. They're called Magnabilities, all right? There's a magnet, and this was custom, of course, because it's a photograph, right? And they just snap in. Now, the one I'm wearing today is a duplicate of this one right here. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son. And it just snaps right in. See, these are called Magnabilities. Some are easier to get out than others, as you'll see when I demonstrate. Anyway, I just love them because this was $5.00. Now, this right here was probably 15 You know, it's just on a little string. Nothing too fancy. But look at this for Easter. Well, I mean, the bunny for April. Not Easter, but April. Okay. This is my grandchild, Wren. Y'all have heard a lot about her. And the image, the pictures, if you, if you do a photo, sometimes it's like $7 or $8. I'm not sure. That Sir Winston poops a lot. My new Boston. Well, he's not new. We've had him now seven years. But um, this is one I made. I just covered one that I didn't like and put, um, I put like uh, glossy accents over it so it would be all shiny. And it's just music. So I would wear that to like a, I don't know. I have no idea what I'd wear it to. This one is Stampin' Up. I wear that to Stampin' Up events. And, of course, you know, I covered I covered one with this. Made that. Anyway, so here's all my little, 
my little pieces I wear. Love the dog paw. I wear that a lot. And then here's some others. We've got another one. That, I lost my whole necklace out by the fire pit one night, and about a year later, Ninja Man comes up and he says, I found your piece off your necklace. Um, so, yeah, y'all. I mean, they go with everything, and I love it because it's easy. And again, it's called Magnabilities. These are not the tins it comes in. These are little cigar tins or something my husband gave me. But um, I just wanted y'all to see it because people frequently ask me about my necklace. And I usually wear this one. And my friend um, Angela just gave me some Boston Terrier earrings. And I wear those with these. So it's so sweet. Okay, y'all. So let me check your comments real quick. Say hey to some folks. Um, Nyoka, you're so sweet. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Gloria's eating some of the candy. I get it, girl. I get it. Heather's watching. Hey, yeah, I'm going live. Um, I'm an hour late because I had things to do this morning. Um, Nyoka, isn't that genius? And oh, y'all, they do necklaces. They, I think they do rings, but it's a little stone. I mean, a little thing. And they do bracelets. So, magnabilities.com. I don't sell it, but I tell you what, if I were to go back into any kind of anything, I'd probably sell them. Um, hey, Barbara Wilcox, I'm so glad you're here. Okay, I'm just going to show y'all a few things, and then we're going to make something. Um, disclaimer, lots of mistakes. This is my little book I use. I keep it in my uh, my Bible um, zipper pouch thing, like my Bible's here, and this is below it. And this has magnets right here. I covered it with um, with the... Laminating, ow, laminating um, sheets. I just hit my knee on my desk, y'all. So y'all know I'm a little dizzy right now, right? Mm -hmm. Covered it with laminating sheets. What I did wrong on this one and the next one is there's a seam here, and I would do that differently to make sure that the front was smooth and the back had a seam. But the problem is it's it's long, okay? Um, there are 12 magnets, two, four, six, and they just snap shut. I love that. I love it. Love it. The inside, some people call these travel journals. Some people call them Midori's. I don't know. I just call it my notebooks. Um, but I'll show you how I did this. And right in the middle where I take notes at church, I've got this. This is what's holding it in. Okay. It's elastic ribbon or whatever you want to call it from Hobby Lobby and it it connects back here and like I told you there's several mistakes because this one's mine and Ninja Man's but I made mine first so on the back you see all these holes you don't need that many you just need two there and two here okay but I got a little crazy because I was trying to figure out how to do it so the paper itself let me see all right, so this is a 12-inch sheet, the stripes, okay? And then I had to add, looks like about two inches here. Yeah, we're not going to make one of these today, but y'all can let me know if you want to learn how to make one. Hey, Joanne Cluck, I'm glad to see you here today. Thank you for, for visiting. Park anywhere, y'all. Parking is free. And just look out for the ant beds when you get out of your car. Okay, so I ran it through, <laughs> through the laminator with the glue, with the magnets, y'all. These magnets have a little adhesive on the back, and I just stuck them down. Ran it right through my laminator. And don't be impressed, my laminator is not fancy. It was not expensive. Not at all. This is the middle of my book, and, you know, boop. Okay, but I covered these, and I don't know... If, you know, when I make me another one, it won't be quite this um, festive, maybe. It might be really pretty. Now, you might wonder what this is all about. Well, when I'm taking notes at church or Bible study, okay, I need this. And I usually open my book to the page I'm writing on, put this here, and put that there. It's good to go. And sometimes I need a 
clip to hold this part down because you're working out of your lap, right? And I don't want to miss anything. So I'm taking my notes like this. And when I get to this page, I just release it and, and you know, put it like this if I have to, whatever. Just, you know, you just do what you do. So um, I happen to love this method of keeping up. And the one of the cool things is when I'm finished with all these dates of church notes, I will take this out and I will go put it in my, in my, um, on my shelf in my little Bible study corner. Okay, so that's just a neat, I love the way it feels. Now I'll show you Ninja Man's. His I made after mine, so it looks a little nicer, but again, I should have put this part on the back. And see this little, this little area coming up right here? A Couple of things I can do there, but probably what I will do is just take everything apart and run this back through the laminator, it'll stick right down. Okay, so he's got the um, the magnets there. I've got him a little book here that I stamped, come to me, all you, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Um, Matthew, it looks like 1128. I can't quite see it, but y'all know it's scripture. So I, I'm, I'm Gave him this little book so he can put whatever notes. And it's it's in here with elastic. He, he wrote on the cover of this, so I was covering up because I don't know what all that is. Um, this is one, one book that I got for him. And I did go to like Barnes & Noble and buy a nice book for his. Because um, he really likes to have, I don't know, he likes, I just wanted it nicer for him. So again, here we go, right? And then... That's all there is to it. His is all manly. I did one for my son, and it's all manly as well. I think um, my son's has like a wood grain. And um, there you go, y'all. There you go. So these are just great to have um, for Bible study or whatever. Okay, so now, that let's see, that was my show and tell today. Um, oh, no, I got, well, okay. I'm going to show you some more stuff. Okay, I like to get these books um, when they're on sale or whatever and cover them. Okay, so this, this is just one of these notebook things that I put Tyvek, which is this stuff. Um, I've shown you this on my Thursday Kathy Bowes Crafting Show. We've used this before, like for this, um, but it's really good for the spine of these notebooks. Now, this is kind of needing a little love because it does, but either I shared this paper with my friend Angela or Angela shared this paper with me. I'm not even sure, but I love it because it's vintagey, and I do know that this was stamping up a while back, so that's why I'm confused whether or not she gave me this or if I had it. I don't know, um, but I um, thank you, Gloria. I love those journals. I love them. Um, then I just put the snowflakes on here. And the idea of this book is to keep a record of my Christmas cards and gifts because, y'all, I shop all year. All year long, I'm shopping. I'm shopping for sales and specific things that I think my family will love. I see I need to straighten up just, just a wee bit. Here, let's move this because y'all know who I am. Right here. Y'all know who I am. We're just going to put it right over here. How about that? Okay. So, um, yeah, so I shop all year, and I like to have everything waiting, ready, come Christmas, because I don't want to, I don't want to spend September, October, November, December just scrambling to find just the right gift. I start looking in January, and I do like to support my friends who are in different um, businesses. Um, for example, my friend Heather is a 31 consultant. Well, she let me know of a great sale, and I was able to purchase some things from her in January. And I mean, they're beautiful, they're personalized, and the recipients will be very happy. So I write this stuff down in here. Also, every time I send a card, this book has transformed into more. But every time I send a card to anyone, y'all know I'm a card maker, I write it down. 
because I'm like, did I send a card to this person? And then they either don't get one at all or they get more than one. That's a little crazy. We're going to be playing with this here in a minute. I will tell you about it in just a minute. All right, here's another notepad that um, I covered a long time ago. And it, it's just, that's all it is, a notepad. And I used, um, I used the uh, Memories and More card out of here and the little stickers. And this was some of their paper. And I would think probably what I did was cut the paper and, yeah, I can feel it. Piece here and a piece there with the white in the middle. It's just sweet, you know, put it in somebody's stocking. But this is stuff you can start doing now. And, you know, give somebody a stack of little um, notebooks, you know, for, for their stocking or whatever, right? Okay, um, this is another one. Now, this is so stinking simple. You can get these. I'm quite sure I got these at Joanne. And all I did with the little pad was cover it, okay? And it says notes up under here. Now, it's been laying in my desk, in my drawer a long time. But it looks like, oh, 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 I know what it is. They are sticky notes. But anyway, I just stuck this on here. And probably because of how it aged in my drawer, because I just pulled it out today to show y'all, what I would do is just let this be laying on top so they can pull the pages off. Because these are so cheap, they're not going to make them, you know, super, super nice, right? These little mini composition books like this, super easy. They've got a nice binding on them already. It says they're sewn, so, you know, they're, they're pretty good. Um, I covered this one. And I did not change the binding because the binding's really good. So I just butted up to the um, edge of that binding and, and rounded the edges. That's the back. This is Stampin' Up! paper that I had a while back. So these are ready to be covered. And something like this, put a little ribbon around them. Like, if you got the prettiest part. Okay, put a little ribbon around them and a tag. You know, and somebody's got these cute little books. Men like to carry these in their front pocket. I know, I know. Here's another one. And with this one, if you want it to go into a notebook, you're just going to mark these circles like you would put it on your whatever, and you're just going to mark them like this, okay? So that when you're ready to cut and all that stuff, you just take your little, your little hole punch, and you go punch, 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 you know, and you're good to go. Of course... I would recommend you do it closer to the edge because, you know, you want your punch to be able to go in there unless you've got a crocodile, which can do everything, okay? Um, here's another one that I need to cover. This, this type of artwork um, makes me just a little crazy, and we don't, we don't need Kathy Bow to be any crazier, right? But this is the inside. I'm, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Compare it $13. I'm, I'm never going to pay $13 for a little notebook. Even if it is uh, Christian LeCroix, LeCroix, LeCroix. I, even if it is him. I, no, no. But it was $3.99, and it's a cute little book. And I can do um, some distress stuff on it because that's kind of what it's going for and make this new. Now, if I were to do that couple of things, I would probably take a little piece of sandpaper and just kind of go over this to rough it up so that the glue is going to really adhere. And then when it's time, I'll take my cardstock or whatever and I'll, I'll fit it and then it will be covered. Okay? Okay. Now we are going to make a little something, something. Oh, let's go back. Let's go back real quick to to this little guy, okay? Now check your, um, uh, thank you, Joanne, thank you. Yes, they, they're they they're great for little gifts, y'all. Um, and like I said, I'm thinking Christmas all year long. This right here, I used this one, I put it on, I pulled the magnet off, and I put this on a longer thing-a-thing -thing 
because I have a die over here that I was able to, now come in, look at that, look at that. It just wanted to pop right off. I'm able to make a bag out of it. Okay, we're gonna do that. And I wanted this to just sit down inside like this. Now, again, this has been in my drawer, y'all. This is my um, Tim Holtz drawer, like we went through the last two Thursdays. Wasn't that fun? Y'all, I'm so excited, because now I know where everything is. Um, but yeah, and if you just drop one of these at your coworker's desk, have a little tag on it, whatever, you know, it, it'll be appreciated, and they'll think of you when they go to use it. it so make sure you got nice coworkers, because you know. Okay, um, so here we go. This, I'm not sure if we're going to use this, but I'm going to show you what all I got going on here. These are dies. Um, they are discontinued, retired, whatever you want to call it. It's called Mini Treat Bag Thinlets Dies. Now, I'm going to tell you a couple of things. First of all, you can take a bag apart, just like a small paper bag. Um, you know, I had some the other day. Um, here's one like this, now this is tiny, okay? Just take him apart, you know? Um, just, just pull him apart, make a pattern if you don't have access to something like this. If you've got a silhouette or a cricket, you should be able to just zap out something like this that will fit your notebook, okay? Um, so this particular thing, I mean, you might find them on Etsy now or, Let's see, it was 2017 to 2018, Mini Treat Bag Thinlets. Um, take a picture if you want. Um, but it came with a bunch of dies to make different things. We have banners and we have hearts and stars and uh, bow and some other things, okay? Um, so I went ahead and cut most of it out. And I'm probably going to have to cut just a little something else, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. This is what I cut out, okay? A little bit easier to see it looking like this, okay? So let me move this, because I know it. it's hard to see on the camera. Okay, and this is how the bag is gonna go together, like this. We're gonna, um, when I cut it out, it actually um, creases, it provides a little score mark, and you can crease the paper in the places that it needs to be creased, like this. So you see a little bag is happening, right? And while there's no instructions with the dies, it's really quite simple, okay? Okay, so I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna use Gloria's um, little thingy things, the little doodly doos. Here I go with my doodly doos, y'all. Okay, Gloria Wolf makes these um, little glue topper pens that go in your glue, and they're so much fun, and I love them. I still love it, Gloria. Still love it. Okay, I'm just bringing this to the edge. Make sure we're good over here. And I like using um, liquid glue. I have this one, which is Barely Arts. I have this one, which I put... And Gloria's pen will fit in here. Um, but I put Tombow in this, and this is the Tombow here. But I was tired of fighting with it, so I just put a bunch of them in here. Probably two or three. I don't even know. Okay, so we've got the side of the bag on right here. And, you know, you could make it match. You know, some of us just kind of go with it, and some of us make a match. I'd rather it match, I'll tell you the truth, but it doesn't. So it's okay. Put a little glue here, and we're gonna close that up like that. And then we're gonna put a bottom flap on. Now, why does it look like that? Let me trim off just a wee bit. I don't want to trim too much. Just a wee bit. Where am I? Here I am. Let's see, right there, right there. That comes out just a little too far. There we go, just a little snipperoo. That's all it was. And then we're gonna put, I'm gonna put the glue on here. 
Okay, and then fold it up. And if y'all hear snoring, it's not me. I'm wide awake. Although, it's almost time for my nap. Just saying. Um, but it's my dog. She's asleep over here beside me. There we have our little bag, right? Okay. So, um, let's see what we want to do. Y'all, I, I told you I got new glasses, and I, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting trying to see things. Okay, we have a lot of options. You know what? We're, we're not going to cut on the... We're, we're not going to have to do any more die cutting. I just figured that out because we can make a belly band with this paper here. All right. I don't know if it's long enough. We'll see. It should be. It should be. But if not, we can work around it. And this is just cheap scrapbook paper. Okay. Now, I'm coming in from the back. All right. Um, just to see. Okay. Let me show you this. If this was too small, okay, we could come from the front and go like this. And let's say your paper only goes to here. Well, scooch it down a wee and then put your big whatever in, in the middle. Your big, you know, something. You know? You know? I'll go ahead and do it that way just so y'all can see. So this is called a belly band. Um, typically, a belly band is going to hold things together. Now, why is that not even? Um, it's going to hold things together, but in this case, um, we're going to cut that again. In this case, it doesn't need to hold things together. It's just for decor. I'm just doing a, a one. Mm, no, I want a bigger one. I'm going to do whatever size inch strip that is. Y'all, y'all. Okay, okay, here we go. This, I know what happened with that first one. I only cut one side, but the other side was not even. And ain't nobody got what? Time for that. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody. Okay, we're gonna use our little whack-a-mole over here. And yeah, I know I'm not measuring. I know. Are y'all nervous? You should be. Here we go. Here we go. Boop. Boop. Like this. We're just going to boop, boop. We're going to put this on again. Oh, let's do it over here. Y'all know it might get a little crazy. It might. It might. Oh, and we're getting the grand girls tomorrow. We are, they're out of school, and my daughter has uh, something to do, and said, can you keep the girls tomorrow? And I'm like, yeah, it's Good Friday. We'll probably take them to the park. Um, we will talk to them about the true meaning of Easter, because, you know, they'll be with us all day, and we can do that. And um, let's see what we got in here. We got a little calendar. We got these. Um, summertime. I like that. I like summertime. Hmm. I think that's where we're going because that's pretty much. But we're going to see that. So let's look at this. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Here we go. Yeah, so we're getting the girls tomorrow, and I'm just putting extra glue on this because I had already played with it earlier on another project, like a few weeks back, and it was all curled up from its little sticky paper. And when we put it on here, you're not going to be able to see that seam, okay? So here we have a cute little pocket. Now, what can you do with this? Lots of things. Of course, I'm going to... Let me see if this will fit. I don't think it will. Uh-oh, y'all. Y'all. <gasps> Look, it fits. Okay, all right, that's what we're doing. Hold on. I wasn't going to, but now I have to. Uh, I have to. All right, let's do this one. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're just going to put something cute on it that's not too... You know, we're already real busy here. We might just have to go with a solid card stock, although that's fun. Oh, that's fun. Oh, look at the back. Hold on. Some of this has stuff on the back. Um, too busy. 
That's cute. Ooh, this one. This one would probably be good. And the back of it's going to look like that. Yep. And the back of this one is going to be the green. That's cute. That's cute, but it's too much for the eyes. Right? Okay, and then this one has green stripes. Um, so I'm going back here. I'm not an orange person. I'm not. But, y'all, I mean, it. I think it really goes with the paper. You know, because of this, right? It's already trying to pop up. There we go. Yeah, I think that's good. It's not too busy. I'll show you how we do this. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is see how how tall this little book is. And I'm just going to put a line here on the, what we would call the selvage of fabric. It's just the bar here. I'm gonna measure it. I've got a little measuring thing right here. And that is four and a half inches. It says four and a half. Let's hope it's telling the truth. We'll know in a minute. All right, we're gonna cut this piece off. And, oh, by the way, this paper is called Fruit Stand, and it is by Doodlebug Designs Incorporated. Um, I have had it for a long time, but that's what it's called, Fruit Stand Doodlebug Design Incorporated. Okay, so what did I say, four inches? All right, we're going to go, we're going to go this way, four and a half, four and a half, and kind of want to go just a wee bit over, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to do it. Oh, dear. We'll see how close we got, y'all. Woohoo! Look at that. Okay. Okay. We're good. We good. All right. When my son was in middle school, he'd always go, it's good. <laughs> now, see, I'm just going to butt right up to this because that's a really good firm um, binding on there. Can't really improve on that, right? I'm going to turn him over. Oh, come on now. Come on now. You can do it. All right, here we go. I got this. I got this. I might need a nap after, but I got it right now. We're going to put a mark there. Okay. And going to bring out the guillotine. The guillotine. Here we go. And that's right at two and three quarters. So we're going to do that again for the back. Two and three quarters. And y'all, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, but we're going to look and see. All right, Heather, will you add that bag dye to the stack of stuff to take to the next retreat, please? Yes, I will. Nyoka had her eight-year-old grand, great-grand yesterday, the energy. Oh, girl, I know, I know. I know, and mine are 10 and 7, and I'm just like, whew, I know I'm going to be worn out, but it's okay. Yeah, I know, we're going to do this. I know that, but I was just looking to see if I like that side, which I do. Okay, so you see now we have curves to make on the corners, right? All right, uh-oh. Let me find my little corner doodly do. I've got him in here somewhere. I use him all the time. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Um. Oh, so y'all, let me let me grab. He's up here. I got another one up here. Um, we puppy sat for a friend, and it was a cute little dog, and it was just for a little over a day. Such a sweet little guy, and he did so well at our house. And um, we were happy to have him. This is a We Are Memory Keepers crop -a -dial corner chomper, all right? And you can do half inch or quarter inch. So I'm just going to see, because I don't know. I wonder if y'all can hear my um, wind chimes. All right, that, that's a little big. Let's try a quarter inch, see if we like that better. Oh, I think we do. Yep, we want a quarter inch off of this bad boy right here. And it sticks out just a wee bit. 
So I need the tiniest, tiniest amount cut off. We're going to see what happens here. Oh, y'all nervous? I know, I know. <gasps> Look, I got it. Oh, wait, wait. Tiny, tiny. You can always cut a little bit off, but you can't add to it. Well, you could, but it would look it would look weird, right? It would look kind of weird. But um, there we go. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and get this one measured right so that it doesn't have a little hangover, too. I mean, don't we all have a little something-something hanging over, and we're like, oh, I don't like that, right? I mean, it happens to the best of us. But, yeah, so the little puppy... Well, he's not a puppy. He's a dog. His name is Gus. And he was just the sweetest boy. Um, quarter inches over here. That's the only thing with this guy. You've got to be sure you pick up the right the right one. Um, but, man, he loved him a ninja man. My husband, that, that little dog, every time my husband sat down, that little dog would run and jump in his lap. And that made Sir Winston poops a lot. My little Boston, that made him a little bit perturbed, y'all. A little bit perturbed, because that's his spot. His spot is on Papa Bo's lap. It is, it is. All right, here we go. So my friend Heather asked me to bring this die that we made this bag to our crafting thing, y'all. And... Let me tell y'all what that's all about. We, there's a group of us ladies, and we've been meeting twice a year. Some of them are from Savannah. I'm in the Atlanta area. And um, one of them comes as far away as Texas. Uh-oh, look what happened right there. Oh, da -da dear, but I've got a way to fix it. This is the front. Watch. Just watch. I would call it genius, but I can't because <laughs> ain't nothing about genius over here at Kathy Bo's Crafting Show. All right. But anyway, so a group of us ladies, we get together and um, we are planning to go in May. And um, here we go. All right. Now I cut off too much. What happens now? So cute. Okay, I'll show you what happens now. Anyway, so we all bring whatever for like, I think it's five days, six days, five nights, five days, four nights, something like that. This time we're going to a lake house in North Georgia. I'm pretty excited. All right. Um, let me see what I want it to do. I think, I think it would be cute. Maybe a piece of this, but I don't like that half the flowers. I got it, I got it, I got it. How tall did we say this was? Four and a half, and this is just a little, hmm, let me see. That should be good. Just a little short. I know y'all are like, Kathy, just measure. No! Y'all, I have to eyeball it because it, measuring is going to take time. And see, when I screw up here, you'll be like, bless her heart. She didn't measure. But if I measure and then screw up, y'all just be bless her heart. <laughs> right? Now, see, I can snip a roo the top. Okay, I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to try and get this in the center. Get these little flowers like this. And it may or may not work. You know, we'll, we'll cut something else if it doesn't work. If we don't love it. Let's see. I've got a little mark on here. I am trying to get it right. Oh, please hold. I want the flowers off. Heavens. There we go. Now, it looks totally different without the flower. Stop. Without the flowers. <laughs> See? Doesn't it look different? I love it. I love it. Now I'm going to line up this flower and this flower so that both of them are whole. Anyway, so I'm planning to do that in May. And then in November, I just found out 
Hickabilly Christmas is going to be in Nashville. So Ninja Man and I looked at all the details, and we are excited that we are planning to go to Hickabilly Christmas in Nashville. Well, like I said, I live in the Atlanta area. I mean, you know. Um, Hickabilly Christmas, some of you already know because you are familiar, but others may not. So I'll just tell you. Um, there's a, a group that I follow. It's called Lizzie and Erin. E-R-I-N, Erin. And she... Lizzie is no longer with the uh, company, but Aaron um, does Dollar Tree crafts, and she's a hoot. We have a great time, you know, watching her craft, and um, I'm in her. I'm in her subscription group, and I love it. I do. I love it. Um, so anyway, she's doing Hickabilly Christmas, and we just get together and get crazy. And I did a, um, I did a stand-up performance um, when we all went in November, and it was a lot of fun. And um, and ladies laughed really hard because y'all, I had to share some stories. Anyway, here we go, y'all. This is a sweet, short, fun project. Not, not. I mean, like, what would I do different? Y'all know I would add a lot more to it. But I wanted you to see how easy it is to just throw together some goodies. These would even be good in Easter baskets if you got a quick um, a quick hour or two in the crafting um, studio. Just tear a bag apart, like I said earlier. Take it apart and see how it's made. And you can use... Um, your shears to uh, your pinking shears to make the top. If you if you can't, don't worry about it. But this does stick up a little bit, and this is lower in the front, just like in these bags. Lower in the front, and it goes up in the top, okay, or the back. And then look, you got it. You got it. Super easy. I hope y'all enjoyed this today, and I sure did enjoy seeing you. I'm gonna check your comments real quick. Um, Ribbon, yes. Use pink to match the belly band. Oh, Nyoka, that would have been great. That would have been great. Um, and Heather said put ribbon here. You could put ribbon. You can put, um, there's a variety of things you can put. And really, you could put a little bookmark in here too. I mean, you know, the sky's the limit. Okay, this girl is wearing makeup and needs a nap because I've had a busy day already. And, you know, this makeup's got to go, got to go. Going to wash it off, going to snuggle up with my puppy dog, and I'm going to take a nap. So, love you guys. Thank you so much. Um, please take a minute to, to just reflect on the true meaning of Easter and um, why, you know, why Jesus gave everything, y'all. Everything. All right. Love you guys. Happy Easter. God bless. Toodles. Thank you, Joanne. Bye now.